Welcome back everyone. Thank you so much for joining. My name is Tabby and this is Tabby Plays Games. Today we're starting a new game, first playthrough for Opus Rocket of Whispers. Um, I played the previous game, uh, The Day We Found Earth. That game was fairly short and fairly straightforward. Um, the story was okay, um, but I was very interested in the third game, so I decided to go in order. Um, and this is the second game of the series, so let's get started. Um, this is on the Switch that I'm playing. By the rocket, we return them to the cosmos, a history of space burials. Phelan, which of the 46th generation? I'm not sure quite what to expect from this game yet. Town of Malkuth. 29th Space Burial Opening Ceremony. They seem quite excited. Come on, Mom, the burial's about to start. There are a lot fewer people this year. I heard there's a flu going around. People are staying home. Hurry up! I'm gonna get there first. I wonder... I guess it's a very special ceremony. John! Move around using the left stick. I am playing John. Stop running off! Okay. John, don't get lost! Alright, I'm coming back to you guys. This is a top down view. I'm not. I'm here. Okay, I think they do want, the game does want me to move around. I'll get yelled at some more. See that launch tower at the top? That's the space burial launch site. Um, oh, over here, I see. Our factory is just on the other side of the fence. Dad says it prevents burial, go burial goers from wandering off. I don't think this is the kind of game I think it is, but we'll see. Oh, Memorial Plaza. The plaza floor is covered in stone that's full of names carved into it. Phew, that launch site sure is a long way up. I can't remember what year this game came out. Everyone likes to pray at the plaza, but it looks like they're moving to the launch site. There's still quite a few people, a lot of people in the town it seems, but they said it's getting less and less, right? Oh, Are those people over there the witches' followers? I wonder what they mean by witches. John! Whoa! I told you not to go running around. Oh, he's just excited, aren't you, John? The burial's about to start. He's not listening. Oh, relax, Matt. Mom, 
What are those people lined up for? It seems like it's a somewhat sad but joyous event. They're following the witch. Oh, there are only 12 of them in the whole country. So it's rare that we get to see them in person. Good thing we dragged you out of bed, huh? It said I get up. What do witches do, mom? They guide people back to the stars. Without them, we wouldn't have anyone to conduct the burials. That's so cool! I want to be a witch too! Uh, but only girls can be witches, sweetie. Interesting. Oh. You can be a rocket engineer like your dad. No! I don't want to be like dad! Why not? <laughs> Don't you like space burials, John? I love them! Well, without your father's rockets, we wouldn't have anything to launch the space burials. Don't you think that makes him pretty cool? Really? <laughs> then I want to make rockets too! Looks like you have an apprentice, Matt. You only ever listen to your mom, kid. I want to be a rocket engineer, like Dad. Sounds good. You'll teach me, right, Dad? We'll go to space burials together. Silly boy. Then we can return people to the stars. I'm sorry, my reading. That was my last memory of Space Burials, Diary of John Mason. Oh, 25 years after the plague, somewhere around Opus Rocket Factory. So something happened and, uh, yay, it works, John. Not bad. Can't you sound more excited? This thing took me a month. How can I be 25 years since the plague and our witch spends a month fixing walkie talkies? No wonder Rocket 12 failed. There are all sorts of reasons for a failed launch, okay? It could be the rocket nose cone or the rocket fins, or maybe because it's your brains all messed up from being frozen for so long. Wow, he's gotten quite bitter. <laughs> hey! Can't blame me for thinking you're a fake. A witch appearing after being frozen for 20 years sounds pretty bogus to me. I am a witch of the 46th generation trained by the elder herself. Also, I wasn't frozen. I was put in cryogenic sleep. Yeah, yeah, whatever. John! Move around using the left stick. Okay. I apologize for my <laughs> so-called voice reading of this. Oh, don't hang up on me. Hey, the thing hung up on its own. Whatever, did you find the rocket? I checked the area. It should be close by. There are ghosts everywhere around here. You should be on the right track then. Why don't you try following them? If I had to choose, I'd rather not. He'll be fine. That's what you always say. That looks like ghosts. Those look like ghosts, I should say. I wanna go home. Ah, all right, isn't that what I'm trying to do? Stop haunting me already. Oh, I see. Uh, take us back where the stars 
Why isn't the rocket ready yet? <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> that's my imagine. Go ask the witch. How should I know? Please, John, take us back. Go away! Okay, I can't yell that yell out loud. I don't want to wake up the neighbors. What is it, John? Tell me, is the next rocket going to work or not? Success is always our goal, John. Mmm, mushroom omelette. That sounds really good. I didn't eat my cookie because I wasn't hungry yet. But now I want to eat my cookie. Because <laughs> suddenly the mushroom omelette made me hungry. <laughs> What kind of mushrooms do you normally put in it? <laughs> I, well, I made more than one. I just haven't eaten it yet. <laughs> I can share cookies. <laughs> I'll electronically fax a cookie from here. Uh, that sounds healthy. Button mushrooms, omelette. I, I didn't, what did I have for dinner? Oh yeah, sandwich. I can't guarantee the facts will send them correctly. But I can try. <laughs> okay, I'm going to continue just a little bit more with the bad acting. Um, and then maybe I'll, I'll grab a cookie. <laughs> and if we succeed, I'll never see these ghosts again, right? I've said it before, the purpose of space burials is to return them to the stars. You almost sound convincing. John, you promised to help me launch this rocket. Didn't your family build rockets? I never wanted to build rockets. I hate rockets and I hate space burials. John, so, so far in the story, um, it seems whatever this world they live on, there are witches who perform a ceremony to send people who've passed away into space. And only women can be witches. Witches? And John's father was an engineer who built these rockets that launched these um, burials into space. So that's all we know so far. And something, oh, and a plague happened, and a lot of people passed. And somehow the knowledge to send, to give a proper burial doesn't exist anymore. Or it's kind of, it seems difficult to do. So all these ghosts are hanging around. That's my understanding in the last 15 minutes. <laughs> if it weren't for these ghosts, I'd never help you. I don't understand why he's so bitter just yet. There are burn marks on the ground. Uh, the rocket should be close. A bunch of ghosts. Did they find something? This is where Rocket 12 landed. Press A to scavenge. Eight hours? What does the eight hours mean? Careful, the rocket needs them. By the looks of it, one of the main body screw came loose. No wonder it went so far off course. Did you finish eating yet? Or you just made it and now you're enjoying it? <laughs> Ghost. Who? Which? Which? Not this again. Which? Are we finally able to go home? 
Okay, good. <laughs> Sorry, you're going to watch more about ghosts. At least they're not giants. <laughs> Uh, must have come from the rocket. So people are used to living with ghosts here. Why did the rocket fail, witch? I'm not a witch. Why? The rocket was supposed to take us back. Please go away. Are they gone yet? This is where Rocket 12 landed. I found the remains, which fantastic. What's wrong? You were almost chatty just a minute ago. Why did it keep coming to me? I've told you, you don't need to worry. They can't follow you forever. What could they want from me? <sighs> Trust me, John. I'll find a way to send them home. Go home. Huh? What is that? Oh. Oh. Uh, yes? I didn't understand that menu. <laughs> the plague arrived without warning and destroyed everything we knew. Within the year, the population was reduced to fractions of a percent. In the face of such catastrophe, the witches who were responsible for the nation's tradition of space barriers decided to put themselves in cryogenic sleep. They prayed that once the plague has settled, they can return to rebuild their civilization and faith. They pray that when space barriers can be held again, those who fell victim to the plague might finally rest among the stars. Earthology, a century of trials. That's what happened. Are you listening, John? What? This is important history. You have to listen. Yeah, yeah, I know. And you, Phelan, one of the twelve witches, will bring hope to our miserable little world. I totally agree. Stop joking. It's the responsibility of every earthologist to pass down our history. Is it that important? Are there even any earthologists left after the plague? John! Anyway, the rockets in the storage room looks like a loose screw caused it to dis disintegrate midair. Well, we managed to meet, oh, reach 90 kilometers this time. I'm sure we'll eventually, we'll get there eventually. Sorry, my reading is, maybe I need a cookie soon. Eventually. What? I'm seeing them all the time now, Faye. They're everywhere. I can't avoid them. Well, this is probably the only remaining space burial operation in the world. What does that have to do with me? You're the only person they could follow if they want to go home, John. There's no one left. Quite the responsibility, right? The world is upon our shoulders. Is that supposed to be funny? All right, well, we just need to keep working at it. If we're lucky, we might make it on our next launch. I've heard that 12 times already, not counting on it. Hey, you promised to help me no matter how many times we fail. What, when did I say that? You don't want them bothering you, right? So we're on the same team. Shh, I'd probably go crazy first. You'll be fine, John. That's what you always say. This remind. Have you played Spirit Fairer before? This kind of reminds me a little bit of it. Maybe. Oh, I don't actually move the characters. I don't know what the moon means, and I don't know what the glowing... I don't know what these symbols mean either. <laughs> I 
I guess I can look around. The place where our factory produced rockets. Practically phase living room these days. Okay, this is the factory. Yeah, I enjoyed that game a lot. <laughs> I'm trying to... wait. How do I... can I not move back the other way now? Oh yeah, I can. And what's this? A small storage room. This is where John keeps all his tools and equipment. All right. Please stay behind the line. Opus Rocket Factory Test Launch Area No Running. All right. I have not played Eastward. But I'm going to admit one thing that really I enjoyed was playing the cat in Spirit Fair. <laughs> um, Eastward. Okay. I have not even heard of that game, so... Is it similar to Spirit Fair? Oh. Okay. All right. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. There's more houses. So hold on. This is the rocket factory. Okay, this is also the rocket factory. Okay, and what's this? Phase room. I should probably stay out of it. Okay, that's phase room. All right, that's the end of the screen. Okay. That sounds interesting. I will look it up on Switch after that. Or sorry, on Steam or somewhere. Let's see if they have it. John's room. I hope he's keeping it tidy. All right, so we have our orientation here. Now what? Um, let's see here. May the living find comfort and the dead return in peace. I just want them to stop haunting me. Yes, Daffodil! I loved how enthusiastic Daffodil was. Like when you're um, baking something and then it goes off and, it, and, and Daffodil just goes, yeah, and then takes it out of the oven. oven. I, f I feel so happy. <laughs> Um, I don't know. I know there was a lot of story, but Daffodil just made me happy. <laughs> okay. I'm stuck. Because I can't move the characters. Oh, I see. Go to sleep. Okay. Hold on. And if I don't want to go to sleep, what's the other option? Oh, I can't choose... Okay, I think we're just going to sleep. John, we want to go home. Why do you keep coming to me? John. Okay, I can't yell. Why? Uh, a dream. She's right. I have to help her launch this rocket. Okay, he's haunted by these ghosts, literally. Yes, Daffodil! <laughs> and and every time Daffodil caught a fish, too, when you if you use Daffodil for fishing. Uh, it's funny because I know that that isn't the main point of the game, but that was kind of like the best part, too. <laughs> but... Uh, but Daffodil was kind of like a magic cat to me. <laughs> You're up early today. Had trouble sleeping. Well, the rocket engine has been busted for a while. Maybe you can help me out. I was hoping you'd show, show some concern. Not sure why the engine would stop, would just decide to stop working. Anyway, I'm counting on you. 
I don't know if I remember um, having Daffodil next to the guitar. That makes me wonder. <laughs> I do remember the um, the plants growing. Hang on, where do you think we'll find a spare engine? Isn't there a parking lot in this area? Easy for you to say. Come on, John. All right, all right, I'll see what I can find. Ah, <gasps> no way, I didn't know that. Ah, oh, I would, oh, now I have to go back to the game and see. If you're having trouble, just follow the ghosts. They'll know what the rocket needs. I'd rather not. All right, let's see what is rocket 13 missing. Okay, can the two of us launch a space burial? Car engine. Oh, I can get a car. Okay, parking lot near Opus factory. The parking lot near a factory has a few cars lying around. Maybe one will have a working engine. Okay. Why isn't the rocket ready? Is it about to start? 10 hours? Meow, 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 meow. <laughs> I would like to see that. These are important. Bring them to the witch. Oh! Wait, that's too straightforward in the game. This electric engine took quite some time to dismantle. Faye better thank me for this. Bring this back. The witch needs this. There's a voice in my head. These are our memories. Oh, see? Remember in the first one I missed so many things? Malkuth announces first space burial to be held since the plague. A big dream for such a small place. I feel compelled to stay and watch. Remember how I like missed so many things in the first game? Listen, and I wonder is it because I didn't bother to explore the path to the burial, space burial launch site up north is fenced off. I can't. It's getting dark. The voices are gathering again. I see. If he spends too much time out, he might die. Uh oh, too many ghosts. How to go home? But do I want to interact with the ghosts, or is that gonna drive me nuts? Why isn't the rocket ready? Ah, go away! Where is the bridge? Not feeling well. Oh, I see. Okay, he can die if there's too many ghosts. Oh, how do I go home? Oh, quick travel. That, the game didn't tell me that. <laughs> Why did they start following me day and night into my dreams? I wonder if he could have died. Engines in the storage room. That was fast. Did they help you out? Please, spare me the jokes. Whoa. Oh dear. Did he get fried again? It should be this wire. Are you sure you're a witch? You look more like a mechanic to me. I can hear you. Before we stopped holding burials, witches showed up all dressed up fancy to pray, not fix engines in a factory. Go away! That's what you get for wisecracking. Being a witch requires a great degree of knowledge and skill, John. If you think it's all about looking fancy, you should think again. Hmm. I wonder what John's role is. Is he actually just a gatherer? Or like a... What do you call the person? A scavenger? She needs a wrench.
Besides, what's wrong with fixing a rocket engine? He deserves to be followed by ghosts. <sighs> Whatever. What matters is getting this thing fixed. Otherwise, we'll be getting nowhere. I wonder if it's common to be haunted by ghosts. What should I do here? Why does the engine always find some way to break? If only I paid more attention during my training back then. A rocket engine in progress. This is gonna take a while though. Why does it keep breaking? How can I build a rocket if I can't even fix a rocket engine? So much for being a witch. This child is a prodigy, a treasure of our time. She was born to be a witch. Poor girl, so young. How so? Her eyes look only at the cosmos, just like our forefathers. Here she comes. Will she look our way? The world needs her to guide us. Hey, quiet down. People are recording this. Will she see us? Shush! Faye, over here! Faye! Faye, guide us! Uh, guide us, huh? What a joke. How can I guide all of you in a world like this when I can't even fix a stupid, the stupid rocket engine? Maybe I should get some sleep. So, so far the game isn't much. Everything is just very straightforward. Um, rockets. There's some things to do, but it's not... Just like the previous game, there's no real interaction so far. It's just press buttons. Yeah, a little bit. With different hair color. <laughs> I like the artwork here. i just not sure if the game... Like, even... I, I felt another code was a little bit more interesting because of the puzzles, maybe. We'll see. And, like, like right now, right? She says, I think I need to go to sleep. I can't do much else. Oh, I see. I can't work. I can work on it, but she's like, I'm tired. And then I can just select go to sleep. It makes me wonder if um, John could have died on the way home. John! Hey, I'm trying to sleep here. I thought witches would be more considerate. The rocket fins are badly damaged. I need more materials for testing before we launch the next one. Can't you leave this until tomorrow? Which means we need a lot of metal plates. Yeah, okay. How am I supposed to find those? You make it sound like they're just lying around. I'm still really confused where they are. Come on, John. Fine, all right, I'll figure something out. Just let me sleep. I don't understand what city or town they're in. What is it now? Don't forget what you said last night. All right already, as if I could forget. John's, John's like the robot. <laughs> suddenly angry. All right, let's see. What is Rocket 13 missing? Tail vein. Okay. All right. There's a voice in my head. Oh. Oh. That's the voice in my head to remind me to look for metal frames. I two slice is right fates in a row. Two slice? I 
I'm not sure. Oh, I, oh. <laughs> I see. Um, I guess that is kind of weird. Yeah, that usually... Yeah, 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 I know which one you're talking about. I've never even cleared it once. So, like, as soon as one ended, the next one started. You know what I just realized, too? The clock in this game. Oh, no. That is kind of weird. Are you in some sort of time slip? <laughs> <laughs> These wind turbines were built along with the Opus rocket factory. None of them work anymore. Oh no, I've never cleared it even halfway. Why isn't that? What's that ahead? It looks like a wind turbine collapsed. Eight hours. Faye. <laughs> it's telling you second chance. I'm next to a broken wind turbine. Can the tail vanes be used for rocket fins? Tail vanes? That sounds great. Can you grab a few? Grab a few, she says. It's going to take a while, but I'll see what I can do. I think John is a scavenger. I wonder why time matters so much here. Oh, it's dark. Oh, it's very dark. With these materials, the rocket will fly again. This is enough for at least two rockets. I hope we succeed sooner rather than later. Uh, it's getting dark. The voices are gathering again. Let's go home. I feel like I should have him pass out once. You know, it's nice having you help with the materials so I can focus on the rocket. We make a good team. Can't tell whether you're joking or not. I'm expressing my gratitude. It's been, what, 25 years since the plague? How old is she? We need some positivity. Whatever. John seems a bit old, I guess. Positivity, positivity. Go away. <laughs> What's so funny? I need someone to voice act this with me. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to laugh. You think being haunted by ghosts is funny? I really didn't mean anything by it, John. I see them too. Will the rocket ever work? I've said it before, by this rocket... We return them to the cosmos. I know this is your responsibility. Yeah, so... But I'm not a witch. Am I cursed to be able to see them? I don't know. But I like to think of it as a blessing. Being able to see them during times like these. Even if they torture you every day? Even if they torture me every day, it's still better than being alone. It's only during times like these, this, that you truly act like a witch. Okay. I, I, uh, the story, the writing so far is better to me than the last one. I can understand John's frustration more than Emmeth. Um, let me get a little bit more tea because <laughs> a lot of talking, sorry. <laughs>
Wow, congratulations! I have never cleared Yojimbo. <laughs> that was definitely your fate. <laughs> That's why it came up twice. Where's my um, celebra celebratory dino dance? Yay! <laughs> Did you get the achievement for it yet? For winning it 10 times? Rocket 13 will aim for 100 kilometers. I'm really looking forward to launching it. Oh, yeah, it's hard, but now it's one, one less to do. <laughs> um, what am I looking at? I am. Hmm. I see. Okay, let's work on the rocket. Oh, she did some more. Oh, two out of ten. Well, it's still two out of ten. Two less times you'll have to win it. <laughs> okay, all the rocket parts. The fins are my favorite. Simply looking at them sends my thoughts soaring off to faraway places. I, I'm still at 0 out of 10. I can never get past... Oh, I think Mahjong just takes a long time is part of the reason. I heard that it's... I, I guess it just depends on like how you play it, play it and stuff, but... It takes a long time is what really gets to me. <laughs> All right. Is there... Oh, look, we can look at some more things. Partnership with Lixer 33 Mine. Opus Rocket Factory, Malkuth Town Committee Photographed. Rocket 13 Blueprints designed... Results for Rocket 12 were better than expected, adjusting goal to 100 kilometers. Twenty ninth Space Burial Report. So, like, it's weird. This town. Oh. John disrupted the burial and nearly knocked over the witch, grounded for three days. Matthew Mason. Whoa. These are from John's 963. Why? What happened with John back then? Like, why did he disrupt the burial? I wonder. There's something more we don't know about. Oh. Oh, this is just, just going to take time, so not much to do until we get to the next part. Anything else here? No? Okay. The place where our factory produced rockets. Oh, wow, another one popped? Wow, you're lucky. They're spawning all day. There's nothing for me to do. Oh, here's the rockets. Rocket 13 parts. Okay. All right, go to sleep. It seems like every day we sleep, it at least progresses sometime. John, who is it? The burial's about to start. Come on, hurry up. Yeah, rockets are the best. Who are you? What are you saying? C 
Come over, John. Oh, you love watching these, don't you? I want to go home. Why, why did you leave us? Is the average data center eight? Or is there extra data centers on yours? <laughs> Enough. <sighs> Another dream. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. It's good if you're if you're looking to do the fates, it's a good good thing to have. <laughs> But it is a pain traveling back and forth between worlds. I don't normally like doing it. What else is the rocket missing now? Right, Faye mentioned that we needed materials for the rocket nose cone. All right, let's see. What is rocket 13 missing? Something tells me, even though we finished building this rocket, cooling furnace and two metal scraps, um, it's not going to launch properly because then the game seems like it would be over too quickly. <laughs> All right, we're going to look for metal scraps and a cooling furnace. There's a voice in my head because we're going to look for metal scraps and a cooling furnace. It's kind of funny, like, even though you get to control the characters, it's very linear. And I guess, like, you're exploring the town a little bit, but... Ooh, what does this mean? It'd be easier if I had some snow gear. Oh, okay, no snow gear. Can't go that way. This was built to connect New Malkith Line Mine to the east and Malkith Town Center to the west. I don't know which way is east. Is it about to start? Oh, what's this? If only I had a metal cutter. Okay, don't have that. Oh, too much snow. The old Malkith mine lines just behind these gates. I used to get scolded for sneaking in. People said the depletion of Lixir 33 here drove the mining business southeast to the new Malkith mine. Ironworks. Oh, no metal cutter. Over here, John, the witch's materials cut them down. All right, all right. If only I had a metal cutter. Maybe I'll have to make one myself. Anything around that I could use. Let me think. What else should I do? I need these for the metal cutter. Circular saw blade and electronic waste. Okay. I am a scavenger. Oh, that's the edge and I think I can't go. Yeah. Oh, power plant though. But the power plant's right here. Oh, what? Soul stone? Made from meteorites of an unknown origin, they emit a mysterious energy. Whoa, things got worse in town after the plant shut down. Fortunately, our, our factory had its own power system. Wow. Okay, he could still walk a little bit out of here, even though he doesn't have snowshoes. Everything needs a wire cutter, huh? Maybe here? Is it about to start? 
Rocket processing plant. Oh. Nice. What is that? Oh, Mr. Yen used to make me all sorts of these toys. So, sorts of toys with these. He said people don't make good enough use of them. Nice. I can now get... I just need a... Oh, what is, seven hours. Oh. That... Oh, yes. Circular blades for cutting metals. I better not cut my hand or Faye will start nagging me again. It's getting dark. The voices are gathering again. So this game is a little bit... It seems like they're trying to emulate a bit of Stardew Valley where every... You have a time limit to explore the town and then you gotta get back. At least that's what it seems like to me. Oh, I have my own little factory here. So, how are the metal plates coming along, John? Hey, I made no promises. Huh? You know, this'll delay the launch, right? Why don't you worry about keeping those rockets in the air first? Not like digging up the whole town is going to prevent them from crashing. Ouch. Whatever, you're getting haunt you're the one getting haunted by ghosts. Can't believe you're a witch. What? I'm just stating the facts. All right, all right, I'll figure something out. G go do your work. I'm counting on you. Go away. <laughs> She's still there. <laughs> Watching him. Why am I being ordered around all day? Whatever, I just need something that can cut metal. I'll see what I can do. Feels like we're missing something. Feels like we're missing something. Wow, we have a lot of work to do in this game. Um, they added like these gathering things, right? All right, so this metal will cut down softer metal scraps for us. Should keep Faye happy. All right. Did I build it? Is this even going to work? Guess I have no choice. All right. This will cut down softer metals. Okay. Does this make this a uh, metal cutter then? We're good? A completed metal cutter. Awesome. And a map. Uh, how do I get out of here? Just go to sleep? <laughs> it's funny, every time we do this, I just go to sleep. Are they really going to disappear once we launch the rocket? When did I start seeing them? Never saw them when I was a kid. <sighs> Should get some sleep. Early day tomorrow. I do wonder how he started getting... Uncle Paul. Oh. John! Uncle Paul! Everyone in town is heading south. We have to go now. Open the door. No, I'm staying here. Your parents aren't coming back and it's getting too cold here. I don't care. Okay, something happened to his parents. What are you going to do here alone? You'll starve. Mom and Dad taught me how to take care of myself. I'll be fine. No, you won't. Yes, I will. And what am I supposed to tell them when they come looking for you? You don't have to tell them anything. They said they'd come back. Open the door. Please, open that door. I have told you, they're not coming back. They're already... I can't hear you. Aww.
Uncle Paul. It's all right, John. It's all right. I'm John. It's all right. Faye, where is she? Right, working in the factory. He is definitely haunted by whatever decisions he made. Why do I keep having these dreams lately? This metal cutter should get us some metal if I use it carefully. All right, let's see. What is Rocket 13 missing? Not much at the moment. Okay. Cooling furnace and metal scraps. Oh, what's this? John, it's me, Roger. Please help me finish this model rocket. I promised him. Oh. Roger from the logging field? What promise? I chose that one. I promised to build a model rocket for my son, but got sick before I could fit the outer shell. Please help me, John. You gotta find a small rocket on the ground as... Oh, you find a small rocket on the ground as the ghost disappears. Take us back. In commemoration of the 29th space burial for my son Jason, an unfinished model rocket made of wood. It sounds like I have to collect a lot of these stories for people or finish their unfinished business. And all of these are the people in this town. Let's see, let's go to the... Whoa, what's this? I used to play hide and seek here all the time and get scolded for it. You'll help us, right? Oh. As of today, Opus Rockets will be closed until further notice. The letters on the sign are all worn out and barely legible. It's funny, I couldn't tell I can walk into some of these buildings. Oh. I told you to stop running. Did you finish the frog? Did you get more coins and tokens? How many do you need for the mount? Oh, I'm... I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> this game really does try to keep the time. It's already noon. Oh, it just finished? <laughs> nice. Something's over here. John, it's me from the Rocket Processing Plant. How did the first post plague burial go? Wish I had the chance to be there to see it. Oh, I can be angry. Yeah, it takes a long time for those fates. Dad couldn't find the parts, so it was canceled. The ghost seemed shocked. That can't be true. Mr. Mason would never give up so easily. John, don't... Go, you're joking, right? What would your factory do without space burials? Oh. You pull out the closure notice. No way. Even our last hope. The ghost slowly fades away, leaving a letter on the ground. Matthew, old friend, I'm afraid my condition is getting worse. I am sorry for not being able to help. I will look back at the rockets we built with fond memories. May the first post-plague burial be a success. Oh! That's, so it won't take too long. You have to like do, do it three times for gold. If enough people show up, right? Did you get gold for this one?
I want to know how to get to my inventory. Yay, congratulations. So you're all done then. I hope I don't need like one metal cutter per metal thing to cut. Nice. Ooh, I got those metal scraps. You can never have too many of these when you're trying to build a rocket. Oh, nice. One more time. Is there another pop already? Oh, yay. How do we always manage to convert this junk into rocket parts? No wonder we keep failing. Can Faye really do this? Can I do one more thing? Haha, <laughs> I got you! You're it, John! Remember? We're only allowed to hide in the old mine. That voice sounds familiar. Alright, I'll give you a hint. I'm in the three chimney factory at the bottom of the hill. The ghost vanishes before you can react. I don't think I'll make it there because it's already uh, 6 o'clock and it's going to get dark. Yep, that's it for today. Okay, turn back for now. It hurts not feeling so well. Okay, we're going home. <laughs> Does Curl Regina give... It, it's a gift, different type of tokens, right? Oh, the game saved just now. Oh, this kind of like... I don't think it saves very often. The rocket fins are done, John. Want to come have a look? Hmm. Not in the mood? I'm fine. Just doing some cleaning. There are so many names on this deal. They're all people who worked in the factory. Many decided to leave their names here before they left. Why here? After the burial stopped, the church suggested that we leave our names here. Even if we can't go back to the stars with this, we'll at least return to our hometown. I thought you would have known which... Sorry, this probably happened after I went into hibernation. It's fine. Would you care for some help from a witch? Help with what? Nothing to be done here. There's always something a witch can help with. May the living find comfort and the dead return in peace. Heavenly Earth, may we reunite among the stars. You didn't have to do that. Our rocket will make it, John. Yeah, yeah, I know. You should. There are a lot of folks waiting for this rocket besides you, you know. I hope I'm not just an afterthought in your big list of people to save. Of course not. I just want to make things better. Still? <sighs> well, um, I'll keep going. I'm still not quite sure how I'm feeling about the whole story yet. <laughs> what is this song? to see what all these were. Oh wow, there's so many items. Oh, I see. You still can't do much. <laughs> 
All right. I think we're just gonna have to go to sleep and scavenge some more stuff the next day. What else does the rocket need? Better go through it tomorrow. I hope I'm not advancing the game too quickly. Will launching the rocket really make things better? Two out of four main components for the rock for rocket 13 are done. What else is needed? All right, let's see. What else is Rocket 13 missing? Rocket shells, more metal scrap, and okay. No, no, no. Let's uh, we need metals. There's an ID behind the window shield in this car. Was it from someone who worked at our factory? Break in and unlock the car from inside or leave it there. You take a while to break in only to find nothing of value. <laughs> you take the ID instead. 30 minutes. Take us back. Alexis. Truck driver, Opus Rocket Factory. Some numbers are written with a marker on the back. What do they mean? That took a while. Wonder was it worth it or not? Listen. I can't figure out the game. If it's interesting enough or if it's getting me somewhere. But... I am curious about... Oh, can I come through here? No. Oh. oh, wait, I can't go this way. It doesn't want me to go this way. I guess it gets really cold. Oh, I, I can break the door here. Now that I can pass, now that I put a hole through the wired fence, I can pass through easily. Who is it? The ghosts are just everywhere. I wonder if, remember that one we saw yesterday? Or not yesterday, <laughs> earlier about the hide and seek game? Um, hold on, where's the... I can't see how much stuff I've collected yet. Wow, you found me. You're always so... Oh, the three chimneys. There they are. You're always so good at this. Ready for another round? You're Tim from Macaulay. Teehee, let's make this harder this time. I'm in the fenced off area full of transformers. The ghost disappears again. Hmm. Fenced off area, huh? Like there? <laughs> it's getting dark soon. Oh. Wow, I've lost. How do you always win? I wasn't playing with you, or may I may you return in peace. Hmm. <laughs> um, I'm going to choose this one. Teehee, that means you haven't caught me yet. John's so weak, can't even catch me. Oh. Oh, I guess may you return in peace was the only answer there. I had a good time. Don't forget your promise to send me off on one of your dad's rockets. 
the ghost disappears, leaving a postcard on the ground. John, how are you? My mom said that I'll be riding one of your dad's rocket to the stars. The rocket is going to be full of people, so I won't feel lonely. This is a weird thing to say to for me, because they've passed on. So how do they know they're going to... I don't know. <laughs> Not sure what to make of the game yet. Oh, I think we've gathered enough parts to go back to the factory. Oh, we haven't found who the... Um, this belongs to yet. Can't really inspect it anymore. I want to, don't know. It's getting late, so like it's going to be like, it's time for me to go home. The Stardew Valley aspect of the game, I guess. Like, you can't try to explore too much before it's time to go home. Oh. Uh, the snow is deep ahead. Okay. I wonder what happens if I keep going for it. Game over. <laughs> Parts. One cooling furnace and two metal scraps. It's so hard getting the shape of the nose cone right. I wish I had the proper tools. Alright. Can I start this too? Oh, I don't have the old rocket shell yet. Okay. I wonder for John, like, how am I gonna figure out? these other stuff right I think I have to discover it like the driver's license the ghosts have to tell me about it okay so I think we can only go to sleep again I should prepare for tomorrow's trip I want to make snowshoes Alright, let's see what Rocket 13 is missing. Old rocket shell. Okay. Um, maybe I break that down. I'm still looking for something. <laughs> oh, can't see a thing. If only I had a flashlight. This route used to lead to Hetmas City. Hey, I remember Hetmas in the last game. Now it's covered in dense wood. It's so dark I inside I can, I can barely see. Can't see a thing. All right. Um Maybe we can find the, uh, this path should lead to the space burial launch site. It's barely recognizable now, though. Oh, I need snowshoes and flashlight. No shopping trip. Shh. The shortcut's blocked. Guess I'll have to take the western route to the launch site. Uh, no snowshoes. But I can still go, right? Snow's here is pretty deep. 
anything around that I could use. Let me think. Ah, I can make snowshoes. <gasps> John needs to be prodded. Snow boots and metal scraps. Where am I going to find snow boots? Hurry up. Where am I going to find snow boots? Oh. Yay! With these materials. Wait, the rocket will fly. These are boots. <laughs> Hetmus waterproof snow boots. Female size 20. Heavenly earth. These are nearly big enough for me. With some adjustments, I should be able to wear them just fine. I'm going to guess I have to go back to the uh, house first. Hurry up. Is the space burial about to start? Collapsed road. Although it did not succeed, I have nothing but respect for their efforts to bring us hope in times like these. This looks like my house. Like this is, I think this is where we started in the game. Yeah, it was. This this whole memorial plaza. The stone has cracked under the heavy snow, but the deeply carved names on it can still be made out. A cer ceremonial item from the church given to newborns on their day of birth. Hmm, okay. Yeah, this was where we started. But now I'm trying to figure out... I missed something, I think, because... All those items that were there. Employee lounge. <laughs> Nothing left in this empty lounge but empty lockers. Hmm? One of them still has a combination lock on it. Oh, yes. Try the numbers on the ID. You try the number on the back of the ID, which surprisingly works. A note is found inside. I'm very thankful that our factory stepped in to help make this space burial happen. I haven't felt so hopeful in a long time. Oh, that's just the story. <laughs> Let's go back to the factory and make uh, boots. Oh, look, the front of the rocket is completed. The Space Spiral launch site? Why are you going there? Why so surprised, witch? Well, you're clearly not a fan of space burials, so there must be some other reason. Thanks for your concern. The snow up there is really deep, so I'll need my snow gear. Thankfully, I found that old pair of snow boots. That'll help me reach the top. Ah, a new toy to try out. A toy that will help me get your rocket shell. There should be one around the launch site. Huh. What? Just be careful. <laughs> there are wolves out there. Oh no. <laughs> we went through wolves yesterday already. <sighs> I don't have a torch. Oh, flashlights. Worried? A little. Well, thanks. John? Yeah. Thank you. Please come back soon. 
don't have a torch to swing. Okay, one of these should make me... Here we go, my snow gear. Before the weather regulator stopped working, snow gear only appeared in school plays. Now I can't go anywhere without them. Interesting. Nice, now we have snow gear. Okay. Two out of eight equipment. And we're still missing some parts and a lot of stories and memorabilia. See, I missed one here, I think. Oh, there's a lot of stories. <laughs> All right, sleep. Now I'm understanding the buttons a little better. I should prepare for tomorrow's trip. And John's going to get killed by wolves. <laughs> All right, let's see. What is Rocket 13 missing? The snow cone. But there's a lot more places we can go now. I wanted to go to the right over there. I saw some ghosts. Oh, yes, I have my snow boots. What? Snow gear? The snow ahead is too deep. Uh, if I hurt myself, what's going to happen? <laughs> really? You decide to turn back. Uh, that hurts. Not feeling so well. Oh. I guess I can't go there yet. What happens if I really feel bad? <laughs> Does the screen turn black? Oh, who is it? Is it about to start? Oh, no flashlight. Ah, turn back. There's too many... I thought I had snow gear. This doesn't count. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out where the game wants me to go if half the places don't work. Your feet starts getting cold and numb. That hurts. Not feeling so well. Yeah, it didn't really do anything. You can just keep passing through. Is he not wearing his snow gear? I'm confused. I didn't it wasn't something I had to put on, right? Oh. I was supposed to put on the snow gear every time. Oh, I'm dumb. <laughs> okay, let's go back. And sleep. I was supposed to hit the button to actually put on the snow gear. Only one part left, John, and it's all thanks to you. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you could help me clean this up then. Sure. We'll have more space for the rocket parts. 
Not everyone's a rocket junkie like you. Hey, space burials are sacred. These are things I picked up from town. Uh, these are the things from town I picked up over the years. Thought I should preserve what I can. Preserve? The ghost sometimes asks me to help fix things, okay? You're a kind person, you know that? Don't get me wrong, I'm just hoping to get rid of some of the voices in my head. We all have our reasons. Just trying to get rid of the voices. You do make me worried, though. Oh! More options. It's alright, I'll help you. Oh, finally, we can actually, um... Put this back together in commemoration. All right. With an added layer of metal, the rocket now shines like shines like a new one, sort of. I wonder how often the game will let me go back to, you know, after I collect things. Like, because every time I've gone back, it's been like a new story. Oh my gosh, there's so many things. Can I go back out to town still? No. It's like once you come back, you're back. Like you can only sleep if you're back. Is she still working on the rocket? Ugh, the noise. I make her worried. As if she cares. Like, there's so much story every time I come back. It makes me wonder, am I progressing the game too quickly? Alright, let's see what Rocket 13 is missing. Okay, let me try to remember to put on my shoes this time. I can't believe I have to put on the shoes. I thought, like, it's automatic. <laughs> Wait, what? He put it on this time. Ah. Uh, I didn't have to do anything. I just had to hit it once. <laughs> okay, well. So it's permanently on me now. Transceiver tower probably hasn't received a signal in 20 years. I wonder if anyone's there's anyone left in this world? Oh. More memorabilia. Got this radio from one of the researchers who worked at our factory. Can't remember when I lost it. That house at the foot of the hill was where Joseph used to live. Dad would drop by his place whenever he went to Hetmas City. Why isn't the rocket ready? Ah, go away! Not feeling so well. Oh, okay, I don't want to approach the red ghosts. Those are not nice ones. Oh, can't use the flashlight. Red goes, uh, why? Well, I don't know how to trigger when he decides he wants to build something. What? A sudden gust of wind blows across the area, followed by a loud creak coming from above. Dodge immediately. 
You quickly leap to the side, just in time to dodge some falling debris from a wind turbine. What happened? Okay, those are just random interactions. <laughs> I don't know how to get down there yet. Oh, it must be through this way. I feel like now there's good ghosts and bad ghosts. Or ghosts that can traumatize me. be fine. Post office. Oh. Take us back. Wow. A message can be found carved deeply into the back of the watch. Cosmos protect us. It is a um, very, very different play style. Ooh, I got some clothes. May those who once wore these rest in peace. Like, it's a lot more exploration, which I like. Um, but it's still very linear. It's a school. It's too dark. Um... I like this better than the um, first game in the sense that there's a little bit more orientation to where you're going, but they're also trying to keep it very um, Stardew Valley-like. Like they don't want you to be able to do too much in a day. Um, But it makes me wonder because there's seems to be like a little bit of story every time. And so I wondered if uh, how many days am I allowed to keep <laughs> traveling? Because every time I sleep the next day, what else does the rocket need? Better go through it tomorrow. I haven't found one piece of the rocket and I don't know where it is yet. But I do like the play a little bit better. All right, let's see what is rocket 13 missing. Because just slightly something different. Oh. And I'm a scavenger. <laughs> I keep scavenging, looking for things. Malkith Town Center's just ahead, but I shouldn't go there now. Okay. Why not? <laughs> um. Like, I thought the ghosts are all helping me, but apparently there are bad ghosts as well. And she told me, like, if I go north to look for the cone, there's, uh... There's, um, wolves. So I have to be careful of wolves now. <laughs> I'm also kind of little lost in the uh, town. I keep going in circles a little bit. Yeah, I've already been here. <laughs> so I'm, I'm wasting a lot of time going back and forth. I also need to know how to make a flashlight. flashlight. 
I can't remember where I can go without a flashlight now. So, um, <laughs> I'm going in circles. I might finish one more day here. I just want to make sure I see that save mark. Oh, I want to go to the school. I don't remember how to get there. I don't remember how to get to the school. A toy. Who does she think she is? She wouldn't be building a thing if it weren't for these toys. Yeah, she goes around expecting people to just help her. Oh. Get out. I mean no harm. Don't come near me. Please, I... Step away. Please, just listen. Is this a rocket factory? I saw the sign. What do you want? It's been out of operation for 10 years. But the facilities still work, right? Is there anything left? How should I know? Just step back. Earthologist. What? I'm a witch from the Earthologist Church. Stop lying. No one's launched a rocket in 10 years. What can a witch do now? You... You can see them, right? I've been watching. In the graveyard, you talk alone, but not to yourself. Normally, only a witch can... Ooh! You fired. I won't miss again. You're, you're troubled, aren't you? What do you want from me? Please, help me. I know you can see them. Nonsense. I want to help them return to the stars. It's been a while. The last witch from the Northern Church of Orthology coming all the way down just for a space burial. Crazy. It seems like he's the only one left in this town. But he doesn't think there's anyone else alive because they haven't had another space burial. I mean, I'm trying to understand the culture here. <laughs> and like what kind of world they're living in. Oh. Yay! Welcome to the 29th Space Burial Ceremony. All Malkith souvenirs on sale. Oh, Malkith was another star we discovered in the last game. Or a section of a galaxy. She did say there are are wolves. I'm a bit worried about that. <laughs> sort of. It was only last weekend. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, too dark. If I, what do you say? If I, if I fix the flashlight first. If only I had a flashlight. I don't have clues for understanding how to get a flashlight. Um. Transport. For the folks who drove, there is a parking lot to the south of Kuiper Road Section 1. As for everyone else who walk, please feel free to rest at the community center. Like, there's nobody left in this town. I think it's getting dark and he has to go home. Hey, who do you think this year's witch will be, old man? It's finally about to launch. What an honor for our town to be hosting the space burial this year. Oh, see, they do have it in different areas. You'll help us, right? History of space burials in Malkith. With its third space burial this year, Malkith is well known as a rocket town, and particularly for the ra rocket factory Opus that his father was a part of. 
It's getting dark. Oh no, I can't get to it. Okay, let's go back. He starts to pass out if we go too far. I don't know why I can't build, make a flashlight. He's like, I don't have the plans to make a flashlight yet. But that's okay. Um, I think that if I go to sleep here and if I see the save point, I'm going to save the game tonight and uh, call it a night, I think, although I'm not sleepy, but I think this is a good stopping point. I should prepare for tomorrow's trip. If I can remember John's voice next week. <laughs> okay, it's saved. All right. Woo. It was a lot of exploration. Um, I liked this style better than the first game, but you know, they definitely improved upon the first game. Um, and the story is written a lot better. I, <laughs> I understand why John might be angry, but I couldn't understand why Emmeth was angry. <laughs> so, um, to me, that was already a little better. <laughs> um, the only annoying thing is the clock keeps ticking. Um, and I don't actually, how do I get out of here? Is there no menu? Well, see the clock keeps ticking. Maybe if I just head back to the factory and uh, there's a save button up there. Oh, it saves here too. Oh, I didn't notice it. Okay, here we go. Oh. Options. Back. Wait, how do you exit the game? Okay, that's all right. I'll figure out how to exit the game. <laughs> uh, well, I can't believe Saturday's already over. Uh, felt, feel, this week, the holidays is going by way too fast. Um, at least there's still two more days. But um, yeah, I guess that's it for tonight. Thank you so much for joining. Um, are you still hunting for fates or are you finished? <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining too. So you just need one more to go, right? It's always good to check off some more things. Minion, barding. I think I need to do the barding one too. <laughs> but I guess I'll, um, it's, you'll have to be there at the good time when the fate pops. So I guess I'll have to wait for that. And some of them you need like larger parties to help, right? Otherwise, um, it's not enough people to do the fates or complete it. I was just curious. <gasps> 10 years worth of beans. Yeah, some of them are difficult without it. Oh, wow. Okay. Unknown. Oh, right. That's his parents. Okay. I was just hoping there was a flashlight in here, but I guess not. <laughs> Uncle Paul is your best friend. Oh, John's Bizarro Park. Uh, the TV doesn't exist anymore. Wow. Okay. Um... Good luck with your fates. I hope you have a great 
Does the spanner symbol, what is that? This one up here? <laughs> no worries. <laughs> Over their heads. Oh, this thing? Um, I think it takes them to their sh workshop. Yeah, it takes them to their workshop. But it doesn't... They're, like, I'm looking for the flashlight, but... Yeah. So we'll have to figure it out next week how to um, build stuff. <laughs> okay. Yep, good luck with your fate. Thank you so much for joining again. I really appreciate it. Have a great weekend and see you next time. Good night.